Hello, and welcome to another quick look. I'm Dave Tadros. Hi, everybody, and accompanying him is me, Steve, from and, XP Share. And we're playing um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Nice, 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 nice. Honestly, Dave, like, one of the few things that I've noticed, like, right away is uh, the colors. Yeah, everything really pops. It reminds me a lot of Wind Waker and uh, Skyward Sword in the color palette. Yeah. Especially Skyward Sword. Um, you can tell that they're using that cell shading, but they're using it in a, in a realistic style, just like uh, Skyward Sword. Mm -hmm. so. And uh, what can you tell us about this uh, game so far? I know you've been playing it for a few hours since last night on and off. Um, It's pretty damn amazing, <laughs> I gotta say. All the yeah, I almost Holy died. shit, what is that? It's a paraglider. Oh man. What are some items that you got? Uh let's talk about that first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'll pull up the menu. So unlike all the other Zelda games where you're just like, okay, here's the lame sword, and then you get the master sword, and then, you know, here's the lame shield, and then you get the mirror shield or Highland Hylian sh shield, whatever. Um, you actually pick up weapons from your enemies so uh say you kill a moblin what's a moblin you know like the ganon's henchmen, oh okay like pig people pig people uh they'll drop something so uh let's see see like i got a spiked moblin club uh so i'm not you're not always using a sword uh you may be using a spear you may be using a leaf no <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and assume oh God, I hate doing that. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and assume because you have so many access to different types of weapons um they uh they go bad after a while. Yep. So uh the number on the lower right hand side of each um item is how strong that item is and after a while that item breaks and you can never use it again. Uh, so far, I don't know anything about crafting. If there is crafting in the game, or if there isn't, it doesn't look like there is. Um, in terms of, like, weapon crafting, I mean, uh, there is, like, cooking in the yeah, game. Yeah, I see that you have, like, a lot of food options so yeah. far. So, all these food options, like apples, uh, mushrooms, uh, this, you know, jelly. <laughs> you could cook it into... Plates. I like and how there's a red kind of and plates. I like how there's a red and green mushroom. I think that's like a little uh, Mario. Oh, yeah. So uh, the red mushroom obviously uh, it helps your health, and the green mushrooms for link stamina. Oh, um, nice. And there's also new static, uh, static status effects in these games. So oh, if really? you're yeah, so if you're like in an area that's really cold, you'll need to eat something very spicy or Link will freeze to death. He will freeze to death? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so see, so see uh, how that little snowflake icon? Yeah, I see it. And it says 10. Does that, it that means expire it'll last too? For 10, 10 minutes? minutes? Yeah. yeah. So, Holy um, shit. And you could just find uh, spicy pepper. I mean, it's, I think it's hot peppers. You think he'll find like a uh, like clothes that'll help combat? I'm sick. hoping. Yeah. I'm hoping. I'm still really early in the game. Um, so like, say you killed a, a boar or something, and then you got some honey from bees. You can make some glazed meat. Oh, that's cool! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, I just kind of wish that you could combine your uh, swords. I see you together. found, like, a lot of bows and arrows. Yeah. So there's actually, you know, reappearances of the arrows from other Zelda games with the addition of a bomb arrow. Ooh. I don't think there was a bomb arrow in another Zelda game. Yeah, there was. There was? There was, um, I don't remember, man. Wind Waker. I played so many of them. Oh, yeah, that's true. Wind Waker was, like, 15 years ago for me. And uh, Twilight Princess, too, actually. Really? Mm-hmm least favorite Zelda, so I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, fire arrow, ice arrow, shock arrow. So I think I don't, that's new. Yeah, that's brand new. I, uh, I don't then you got that. regular arrows, obviously, and you got bomb arrows. Um, and then there, you got different bows, and again, you got that little rating in the bottom of the bottom right hand. Uh, I just wish you can take two and combine them. Like, right. I wish they had different... I don't know. Like, 
Uh, in some games where it's like, oh, this has good long range, but it'll uh, charge slowly. And then if you combine it with a bow that charges faster, you know, then just, I don't know. Dave, I do have a question. Speaking of things that are... Mad. <laughs> because if you really like your weapon and then it fucking breaks, what are you going to do? Right. <laughs> things that are breaking, what's your inventory like? It's pretty It's pretty small, too. Like, you can't... Do you think, like, once you fill it up, you that's it? Like, you think no, you like, can only carry so, so many look, like, weapons? You're only able to carry this many, like, hand weapons at this point in the game. I don't know if there's a, a way to level that up later okay. like, or to expand on your inventory somehow. There, there's you can only carry this many bows five uh you can only carry four shields you know uh the this these are all the clothes spots and I wish I could take some of these clothes slots and put them towards my weapons because I don't have uh any new clothes unfortunately right um and again when you go back to the swords uh you're pretty much fighting enemies all the time so it doesn't really matter, because you're, like, if your sword breaks, I'm never in a situation where I'm like, oh, man, I'm screwed. I guess I can't, you know, equip another, you know, weapon, because you'll just kill somebody and take their weapon. Oh, nice. Cool. So right now, I'm going into one of these uh, mini dungeons, I'll say. Okay. Uh, I've never played it, so it might kind of be embarrassing if I can't figure out the puzzle. Uh, but each one has a kind of theme, and you just try to go through the theme, and then you get a gem at the like a you get like a sphere at the end, a hero sphere or something. Is there like a currency um, type of system in this game? Or? So I just got my first rupees after hours of playing, and that's by selling items. So you don't just find rupees. You know how in uh, past Zelda games you'd cut grass find rupees, you'd cut grass so and find heart mean. pieces and stuff. There's nothing like that anymore. So I guess the Minish are dead or something. I don't know. Because that's all gone. And if anybody is, you know, all the Zelda fans out there, Minish are, you know, the microscopic creatures that, uh... Do you keep the item? Yeah. Hold on. Minish are like the microscopic creatures that, like, left you know, rupees and stuff in the grass... And that's why when Link would cut the grass, he'd find rupees in it. Get it? Right. Oh, right. that's a shield, not a sword. Yeah. Okay, I gotta, gotta get rid of a shield. So see, like, you're, you're never, like, in a situation where you're like, oh, man, I guess I can't get that. I think I used this one before, so I'll just drop this one. It's probably weaker than the one I'm holding. So now I got a new shield. Yay! Shield of the mind's eye. It's like Lens of Truth style. I uh, I see that the Sheikah have like a lot to do with what's going on in this game. Oh god, what happened? What did I do? Looks like you're fighting, my friend. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create... Okay. I'm using the Pro Controller. I know. I'm not using the uh, freaking... Switch joy cons. I can't. What the hell? Okay. What is that? A bomb? Yeah. So, <laughs> so unlike other Zelda games, you could just uh, make bombs <laughs> as long as you find as long as you found the ability, you could just make them. It's just a uh, a bar basically, and it reloads. So you have infinite bombs. Oh, my sword broke. Why don't you uh, just do that side hop the the guy was telling you about? Because I didn't pay attention. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just side hop and hit him from behind. That's it. Don't how, waste do, how do you side hop? He said he like used a targeting system to do it. Don't waste your... Uh, targeting system? Yeah, t you targeted. Then yeah, when he uh, hits, just wait for him. Target? Oh, okay. Yeah. Just wait for him to hit you. What? Yeah. Do it. 
Oh wow, that was that was cool. Really cool. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks to create. Why is this a tutorial stage? I mean, it's useful information, but right. Just wait for him to attack again. Ow. No. Okay, try again, get closer. Do it again, get closer. He's hitting me. Wait, you they want me to do a backflip? Yeah, no. Good shit, Dave. I thought they wanted me to just do a side swipe again, so I, I'm dumb. This is like the worst <laughs> thing to show to quick look, by the way. No, it's cool. It's, like, this is not, actually a good thing. I mean, people are gonna want to know about like battling systems. Pull out your shield. Wait, that's what it said? Yeah. Okay, so, so you can't have uh, your shield out if you're holding a uh, two handed weapon, obviously. Oh, uh, nice. I didn't know that. What the hell? There you go. The hell just happened? Oh, I crouched. No, you're gonna want to parry the attack with the shield. What do you mean parry? Oh, like that? Like yeah, yeah. Okay, guy, I got it. That That's was good. Cool. Yeah. So I've been playing for a couple hours and I haven't done any of this stuff because I didn't ha come into the shrine before. Uh, Charged attack. Okay. Oh, look at all the stamina that took. Yeah. Hey, pick up the, uh... Well, it won't let me move. Hey! You have done. Learn these crucial skills. Now proceed. Alright, cool. Can I get it? Is that... Was that really the freaking dungeon? Hmm. I don't know. I hope that wasn't the whole thing. Oh, nice. Yeah, word. Alright, let's continue onward. And the detail of, like, the artwork in this game is, like, really awesome, too. Yeah, like, there's... They, they put a lot of small, like, details in, like, a lot of places. And they also made the game, like, very welcoming to new players, too. Mm. Wow, that was the whole... Uh, oh, well. I mean... <laughs> I was hoping to show a, a puzzle, not how bad I am with uh, button prompts. <laughs> nah, bro, don't worry about it. You're trying for the test of strength, so birds are proficiency ruins, ashes of Hyrule. In the name of the goddess so Ophelia, I bestow the spirit orb. Dude, yeah. you just got a spirit orb. What's so that about? So there's shrines all over Hyrule, and they're just mini dungeons like this one. Uh, most of them are, like, puzzle-based, uh, and they give you the spirit orbs. When you get four spirit orbs, you get to pray at the Temple of Time and actually upgrade your uh, either heart containers or stamina. It's up to you. May the goddess smile upon you. The guy that the goddess is, of course, Hylia from uh, Skyward Sword. So. Nice. Um, so that's that's what's confusing about Zelda games. They have the three gods, and then they have a fourth god. So it's like, who takes precedent, or do you worship all of them? I mean, the Triforce symbols everywhere. So I guess you worship all of them. I don't. I don't know. Uh. So let's actually go over to the Temple of Time. That's a huge map. Oh, yeah. Let me point that out. So this is just one area of all of this. Dave, how much of that one area did you explore so far? Like this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and you've been playing since last night, yeah. haven't you? So this was the tutorial area, and look how big it is when you zoom into it. Like, this was huge, and I'll show you some of it, but, like, uh, right now. We have to go to the Temple of Time, so I'll just, uh, no, I don't want to stamp the map. Fast travel. So, luckily, you can fast travel in this game. I mean, really, you can in, like, even going back to Ocarina of Time with the Ocarina songs, but, 
Uh, you really need it in this game. Like, you really need it in this game. If you didn't have fast travel, I don't know. It would just take forever. Um, also, take note of how well it loads, because I'm still wondering how fast it loads on the Wii U, but in comparison, because, again, we're playing on the Nintendo Switch, and it's a cartridge-based system. Uh, the Nintendo Wii U is, you know, that DVD drive. Right. I love that, by the way. They always stick to, like, their roots in, like, some form or another. Um, in this case, one of them being the, uh, the cartridge. I mean, they kind of always wanted to go back to cartridge. They didn't even want to go to DVDs with, uh, GameCube. That's why they, like, had the mini DVDs. But, um, the only advantage right now is... I, I mean, the advantage right now is, uh, the cartridges are cheaper... I think the DVDs and uh, they actually are big enough to hold video games now because they used to not be able to. Right. A lot of people like moved on from cartridges to discs because discs was like the next big thing. Yeah. That's why like Final Fantasy 7, uh, a lot of Final, F like most of the Final Fantasy games were on uh, Nintendo consoles until Final Fantasy 7. And Final Fantasy 7 was like the first one that didn't get on the con uh, a Nintendo console. And, you know, they had, like, three... I think it was three discs on uh, PlayStation. Right. So, you know, you, didn't, you couldn't do that on an N64 cartridge, so... That was, like, starting to become very common, where um, gaming designers would come out with a game, and it would be on more than one disc. I think Final Fantasy, like you said, was one of the first ones, but, like, after a while, a lot of games started following their league. Yeah. Final Fantasy, Metal Gear, a lot of games were multiple discs, and, and they just wouldn't have been able to be on a cartridge. But now, everything's different. Um, I mean, I don't, I'm still wondering if, like, they could have, um, like, tr full AAA, like, demanding games, graphically demanding games. What on the, the hell is that? I have no idea. Do you see that? Yes, I see that. Hold on. I'm going to do what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't there before, no, right? No, that was not Because you before. start here, I believe. Yeah, this is, this is like the tutorial area, basically. Right. You start the game here. Yeah. So what should I do? Should I get another heart container or should I get a stamina? I think you should get another heart container. So I already did that last time. Because you start we, off you start with, three. with three. And I'm at four right now. Um... You're not really doing anything that requires a lot of stamina. You know what? No, because what if you climbing. got to like climbing? Yeah. But the good thing about climbing is if you cook some meals that are stamina based, you could actually just eat it while you're climbing and then refill your stamina bar that way. Huh. So I think I'm going to go with a heart container for now. How, um, how easy is it for you to get these uh, four spirit stone things? Again, it's like you have to f just stumble upon these shrines throughout the world and you have to beat four of them. And when you get four, you can trade in those four for either a heart container or stamina. Mm -hmm. So. I Like, I don't think you're gonna... I don't know, I might be wrong. The, the, the game's huge, so maybe there are enough uh, shrines Dude, I think we missed that. our opportunity. Really? It's gone? No, it's right there. Oh, okay. Because I was just like, what if it only came out in the rain? What the hell is that? I don't know, bro. It's like Shenron. All right, I'm saving. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to do anything that's like story spoilers or anything like that. So that's why like we were sticking to shrines and like this tutorial area. Um, oh, what? That's not what I wanted to do. Ouch. <laughs> I wanted to whip out the paraglider, but I guess not. Um, yeah, so I don't want to do anything that's uh, going to spoil anything in the game. So I'm not going to say anything about the story or anything like that. Uh, I just, just know that we're in a time that's really crazy because I can't tell, like, what... I can't tell what timeline we're in. I can't tell, um, like, if... This was from the Wind Waker timeline, or... 
Right. I, I can't tell. For those of you who are a little bit new to Zelda, there's, as you know, multiple ones. So Nintendo and many fans, um, they had their own theory as to which where the games lie within a single storyline. So for years, gamers such as ourselves and you would try to come up with a... What the hell is that? A timeline for these games, but recently... When, um, I believe when Wind Waker came out, was it? The HD remake? Uh, dude. No, I did it again! Oh, he died. Because I did it again! I didn't mean to do that! Um, I believe it was Wind Waker. They came out with a book, and that had the storyline of every single Zelda game. And there's three storylines, I believe. Yeah, so it's, it all splits with uh, Ocarina of Time. The hero dies, the hero is succeeds, and the uh, hero fails? No, wait, wait, I'm sorry. I'm. I just complete. I. Bleh. Hero dies. Uh -huh. A.K.A. He fails. Hero. Succeeds. Adult hero succeeds, and then a, a young hero. So yeah. And I have a problem with this controller, because I always have a problem with Nintendo consoles where, um, I'm so used to the X and Y being in a different orientation from PlayStation and. An Xbox, Did you miss the and opportunity? It's and it's gone. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. dude. Well, whatever. It'll come back eventually, probably. Hopefully, maybe. I wonder what the hell that thing was. See, that's what I was trying to do, but I hit Y. Now, I, does that thing disappear after y, using it? No. To, okay. It just uses stamina. So I, I, I was hitting, you know, I was like, oh, I need to hit X. And X is oriented where the Y button is on this controller, you know, on Xbox controllers. You know what I mean? Holy shit. So, that yeah. was a lot of those bats. Normally you see like two. Yeah, they travel in, uh, in schools. Zoo bats. Now, uh, oh god, I'm gonna die again. Dave, I wanted to ask you, um, so far with what you've been playing, have you run into any old friends slash enemies slash places? Um, again, I don't want to do any, like, crazy spoilers or anything, but, like, but back has... there you can see Death Mountain. Right. Uh, so, in the distance uh, over there, you can see Death Mountain. Um, there are some characters that, like, staple characters that come back in this game, and I, and I mean, like, races, not really, like, okay. exact characters. Um, How do you get this? rid of these bats? I don't know. Who the hell are you? I'd say you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's a good skill set. <laughs> what? You don't know? Fine, I'll tell you. It's a powerful, brave group of warriors. <laughs> <laughs> I will take your life. What? what? Holy shit. Oops. <laughs> what? Well, this is really... Oh, my fucking God. This is quite exciting. Oh. I'm about to die. This oh. is fucking... This is Who happening. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, this is happening. This, this is really happening right now. I'm about to die. It's a good thing you got that heart piece. <laughs> yeah, I would have been dead right now had it not been for that heart piece. I had to eat my glazed meat, damn it. Now, Dave, um, we spoke about this yesterday, but let's bring this up again. Um, this being an open world, you literally could run into anything. Like, uh, yeah. Like, this time Nintendo is now forcing you to stick to this linear storyline. Like, it's there, but you have the freedom to do whatever it is, correct? Basically, like, anything you want to do, anywhere you want to go... Fuck. <laughs> Any mountain you want to climb, you can try to climb it. Well, and, you and as you can see, I don't... No, I don't suck at Zelda games. This game is just hard. No, like <laughs> I was going to mention, like... Um, I know we spoke yesterday, and you're literally... If you start the game, you literally have the freedom yes. to go to the final boss and yeah, face after, the final I, boss. Yeah, I, I realized after you get out of the tutorial area, you could sh go straight to the final boss. And again, the tutorial area is not like a hand-holdy thing. Right. It's just an open area that you can't get past until like you do a certain thing. 
Um, should I go and try again? No, I don't think you have enough resources. I think I could do it. See, that's like the coolest part about this game. You get to like go into these crazy situations, right? And instead of running away, you could just keep going in and die over and over and over. Well, another thing that we mentioned too, you're able to handle a situation with more than one uh, solution. Yeah, so like, say you go into a shrine, um, or you're trying to get to a certain area in the game, the way you get there could be completely different from the way I get there, because the way they like situate everything like you could have climbed there and i could have like rode a horse there or something you think it's the same thing with like battling enemies oh probably like like oh i killed her with a bomb and you killed her with like you know i think it does require a sword as well as uh a bow and arrow oh good for you dave she's almost done Oh, Mighty she, bananas! She's done. Actually, you 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 whooped Green, her. Oh, I got a rupee. That's my first like found rupee. Good for you. That's some good stuff. Oh, and you got a weapon. This was neat. Oh, I can't pick up that weapon. So let me uh, let me. Ah, that's the only thing I can't get used to, like the page scrolling in this. Uh, let's drop this and pick up this vicious sickle. Well, that was awesome. That was awesome. See, I, I could have done it. You were like, oh, can't do it. I did it. Bro, her attacks were strong. Honestly, I was under the impression that maybe her level was too high. I mean, this is the tutorial area. Oh, is it? Okay. Like, I don't know what that dragon thing in the sky was. <laughs> yeah, and you were right. It did, like, remind me of Shenron or Volvagia or whatever from uh, Ocarina of Time. Remember, like, the boss of the of the... Uh, fire temple. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know who I'm hoping to see? Um, in Skyward Sword. That oh, my God! What the hell is that? Oh! <laughs> and it's a fox! Yeah, the fox got out of there. See what I mean? Like, maybe you could blow it up. What is this, like, Shadow of Colossus? Oh! Oh, dip. Oh, God, I meant to throw that. Oh, no. This is like Shadow of the Colossus. Its weak spot is in the back. Yeah. I know. I saw it. So this is crazy. Holy moly. I don't know what I'm doing. It's... You Maybe can't climb it? Alright, fine. I shoot guess, it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. With the bomb arrow. I mean, I only have two. That's okay. Use your targeting system as well. Why? Why are you pulling out bombs? Why did I just throw that sword? Pick it up, damn it. So, I, again, like, the controls in this game, like, the bumper and the uh, trigger, they're just, like, I don't know. They're just really weird. You me. got this. Oh, bravo! But it did nothing. I mean... A it, bomb arrow did nothing. It was... It's still a golem, you know? You're gonna be here for a while, I think. Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I just want to say that this game is freaking awesome. It's unlike any other Zelda game that I've ever played, and I've played all of them. And uh, I love that they force you to use different ways to play the game. Um, I really love that the game actually, uh, like, they changed up the elements of Zelda. And much like Ocarina of Time changed the way they, like, looked at 3D games in general, I think this is going to be, like, I, I I heard other people say this, and I'm going to agree that I think this is going to be, like, the standard for every Zelda game from now on. Wow. That they have an open world, and it's just, like, crazy like this, because this... Like, look how amazing this is. I don't think that did anything. It didn't look like it did anything. Did you miss, maybe? No, I didn't, because he just, like, fell for a second. Well, while I do this, uh, we're going to let you guys go. Right. Again, this game just came out on uh, March 3rd. That's actually today. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. The game has, like, a 90-something on uh, Metacritic. I think it was, like, a 98 the last time we checked. And... 
rightfully so. It's just so damn good. So, check it out. Go run out and buy it. If you have a Nintendo Wii, try it out on there. If you have a Nintendo Switch like, uh, like we do, um, you know, you're lucky. And you're probably enjoying it right now. But, yeah. Uh, I think... Did, did you have any last questions before we, uh... No, that was off? it. Honestly, go get yourself a copy. I highly recommend this. Oh, God. Oh, pick that up, too. Yeah, I highly recommend <laughs> this. I haven't seen much, and I'm honestly greatly pleased with what I've seen so far with watching Dave play. And, you know, I'm gonna go get me a copy. I know I went with Dave to get his. I still have yet Shit. to get mine. But... Um, yeah, guys, thanks for joining us. I it didn't even get my horse yet. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time. Probably on other videos, but especially on our new channel coming out very, very soon. You XP mean new Chair. videos. It's not a new channel. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's like <laughs> a segment. But uh, definitely watch out for that XP share. Uh, we, uh, we do a lot of gameplay videos, and... Uh, oh, God, this is going to take forever. Right. This is going to take forever. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. It's going to take forever. That was like the worst timing. A dragon comes, a freaking big rock monster comes Bro, out of the Bro, that was way. like really great content for the video. Like three major things happened. That temple, we got to see like what a dungeon was like, sort of.